Hello, Akron fans, and welcome to this FB vodcast between myself and Nagel on Rooftop Showdown. So right now we're just waiting for Nagel to get himself loaded, and then we'll begin this game promptly. So Rooftop Showdown, I'll go over the map more in detail once I actually get to see the map, because right now the little thing waiting for this level does block the screen a fair bit, so you won't really be able to see the map behind it easily. But this map has been edited a fair bit since the last time I showed it. Ah, here we go. So, it's been edited a fair bit. Just get my starting going. And you build, build, build my RPs. And you guys go and attack. So, biggest change, fewer boxes. This is normal, like most maps since Cold Forge came out. I've been changing all, a lot of them to make them have fewer boxes. And that actually has had a positive gameplay impact. It seems to make expanding a little bit less useful, oddly enough. I think because of the fact that these do have more energy than they used to. It becomes less important to expand, but expansions are still useful, but not totally game-breaking, like they used to be. So as you can see, every single expansion, except the middle ones, because this middle one's very risky to take, but that one, if you can take it, has a lot of resources available. You'll be able to hold it for a long time, if you can hold it that long. But, of course, everything else just has the normal stuff. Well, fewer. <laughs> By normal, I mean it has less. It has much less. Much, much less. At least, halved, if not more. Though I'm not sure how it works out with Tomb of Heroes, I found that having it was a bit too much, so I had to increase the amount. But with this, it should be okay. I don't see that would be a big issue. There are more expansions here. There are easier to get to. You have this expansion right down here, right next to the main base. And of course, you have expansion to the north, which is quite safe to take. So I think overall, it should probably work out a bit better than it did with Tomb of Heroes. Since Tomb of Heroes is a much bigger map with much sparser expansions. But we'll find out. I mean, I haven't really played this map much with this new set of resources. So I honestly don't know how it's going to turn out, but it will be very interesting. And I'm pretty sure... I forgot a fast word this entire time. I'm pretty sure Nagel is playing Vekir. I don't know for sure. Let's see here. He usually plays Vekir, but he might have decided to go off race, trying out some stuff. And he is playing Vekir. Yep. Exactly what I thought. So nothing special there. He is playing Vekir, so it's a Vekir mirror. Actually, I suppose this is kind of special because that's not a matchup we've seen a lot recently. I have not shown a Vicky Mirror much on this show in a long time. So let's just get myself another RP and then try to figure out what he's up to. Because actually, I should probably figure out. He has an annex. He, way he's focused. He has an annex and a foundation. That's useful knowledge. He also designed beer, which will probably feed off my Teth beer and Shin beer, and that won't do me any good. But at least I know he has the design beer. Actually. No, the Zion Beer is gonna live. I might as well just hold back. He's got the he got the foundation building. You guys just go around, see how many see how many R RPs he has. I really want to know because I want to know what he's up to. And here are his scouts. His scout has just come in, and, and I have way too much money for my own good. Let's go back to when I had less money because I need to make sure that I'm not wasting my money. And you build another you build another QP RP. because you're gonna need that. And that's when he built the foundation. So we have foundation at 238 mark. And I am about a minute down from where Nagel is, so I have a bit of an advantage. And there's my Zion Beer and my own foundation for healing, while his Teth Beer comes in and actually, that's uh, not doing much. So my Zion Beer is destroying his Teth Beer, but unfortunately giving away the fact that I really do want to get that depot. I really want to get myself some good vehicles going, so that's been given away. Good to note, I'll have to keep that in mind, although it's really not that much of a surprise. Vekir going for vehicles is very typical. Now, me going for an expansion like this, this is something I don't want him to know about. But I doubt he's watching the stream since he's a good sport. Would not cheat like that. I trust my opponent. If I didn't, I wouldn't be streaming. Stands to reason. Now, just need another... Actually, I think I could use another Shin Beer, not Zion Beer. In fact, get auto... No, okay. Don't have enough QP for that. Get you. Zion Turcher is built up, and then... Need you to build me more RPs. Actually, I think we have enough RPs now. Well, it doesn't matter. You won't be able to afford it because we're out of money. So, you are almost done building, and now you're done. Go to the bottom expansion. I want to see if there's anything there. I want to hit them with my Zion Torture. Shinbir, go north. Okay, I'm getting attacked further in the past. So, let's see what we have here. In the back, there. He's saturating pretty well. Oh, wow. Okay, he's, he's saturating quite well on LC. I'm not sure how well he's saturating on QP. That'll let me know if he's going for Zion Pulsers or Zion Turchers. And he doesn't have enough QP for a lot of early Zion Turchers, but he isn't... No, he's not going for Zion Turchers. Okay, we're good. 
But no, you got you run away. I've gotten the information I need. Actually, for that matter, where's my Zyantrus here? He's upgrading skip teleport. So my Shinveer actually survives. My Shinveer escapes, I think. Nagel may go back and kill it. But from the looks of it, yes, he's he's doing fine. Okay, we're good. Alright. Well done, Shinveer. You got me the information I needed. And it actually means that you should go north. I don't need you to go south. It, clearly, Nagel is not expanding south like I am. He is, however, I can hear him getting skip teleport for himself. And I want more foundation. You or Shinveer. Actually, let's put some hotkeys down. So we got my Annex and Depot on hotkeys. And get... Actually, probably better idea to have... Have a healing foundation up front. Have an ACC foundation down here. Get auto defense. I might be a bit late for getting auto defense, but get an ACC foundation here. And now I'll be able to get air units, no problem. But for the moment, I will probably want to get another ground attacker, Zion Pulse. Uh, actually, no, I can't afford that and get that foundation up north. What am I working with in... Okay, he has found my expansion. Nagel has found my expansion at the six minute mark and he is now jumping back. Looks like he is planning on intercepting that expansion. So I will have to deal with this. I do not know what he's planning on doing, but I do know that as he is going for the south expansion. So Zion Beer has gone around south. Where's my shit? Oh. Okay, you you know what? You go south. Ignore my previous orders. Go south. Go to this expansion. Try to harass it because I I don't think he's going north. And he looked like he was starting to go south. Yeah, that Zion Beer there. Do not trust that at all. Let's see what we have up here. So my ACC is being built. My Zion Beer is getting torn to shreds by Shinbeer. Shinbeer have a bit of a range advantage, so that basically is why. Anyhow, where's... Whoa. Okay, he has teleportation. But I have the ability to build a foundation right here. You have a good bastion, because I need you to actually stay alive and kill this thing. And you build me... Oh, almost got a Shin Tertiary. Come on. Oh, right, you're out of money. And you build me an... Oh, I can't afford an Annex right now. Okay, never mind. Don't build an Annex because I cannot afford it. But I can... Actually, I can't seem to get rid of this guy. What the hell's wrong with you? Go! Attack! Or, or don't. Apparently not. Okay, forget that. Eh, it bought me some time at any rate. Oh, crap. My... Okay, expansion to the south. Not doing well. You to the north. Not doing well. You over here, just go up to the very, very, very north. We'll see if we can, we can get something up there. And you become an annex, because why not? Why not indeed? Oh yeah, and I just lost my foundation up here. Well, at least bought some time for this Shin Tercher to be built, and now the Shin Tercher goes to attack. You... Ah! Zion Tercher will not last long. Unfortunately, I am getting my expansion destroyed quite handily, and I'm worried about what Nagel is doing further in the past. Okay, Zion Beer will not last long, that's good. Now you go over here, I'm guessing he's going to be going for Teth units anytime now. Where's my Churcher? My Churcher's over here, actually my Churcher's doing quite a bit of damage. Except it's not cloaked. This is bad. Why are you not cloaked? You do everything you can while cloaked. Seriously. That's your point. Partially. Oh, of course, he's going back and, oh yeah, the Shin Churcher doesn't exist yet. Okay, Shin Tertru, now you go and defend this area, because I can't have you... Nope, you go down here. I have lost the Zion Beer is down here. Actually, that's a good thing. I should probably build another Zion Beer. Okay, now the Zion Tertru is going down. My own Zion Tertru is getting heavily attacked. It is not going to live if I'm not careful with this. Teleport back to his... Oh, never mind. Teleport to his north, because I'm guessing that's where he placed his expansion. He probably followed my... Followed the lead that I went to, and placed his expansion up north. Because mine certainly is. I need to have this built up. Actually, you guys... I don't know what you guys are going to do. You guys go over here, I guess? I mean... I don't have a lot of money. Okay, you go up to the depot. You heal up. Getting another Zion Tercher. Wait, where's the... No, you... Well, no, that does not help me. You did poorly. You performed poorly. Now you're performing well. Do not move from here to this position. At this point, I do have a bit of an advantage in initiative. And this is a very important thing to have. However, what I do not have is a lot of resources. I don't know what he has in terms of resources. I know he's trying to get the north. I know he's gotten the south. So he's roughly even to me, but I don't know if he's actually gotten any advantage yet. I don't want to build anything more other than... Hmm. 
Don't know the Zion Turcher. They're good, reliable units. I'm not sure what he has at the moment for me to deal with. So, at the, right now, it's a good, reliable unit to use. Send my Zion Turcher up to the north. Get a Teth Pulsar and double check what's going on. So, I'm going to jump back about two minutes. And two minutes, this is back when the Zion Turcher was attacking me. I want to see if there's anything new. No, my Zion Turcher has not been changed at all. And my Shin Turcher. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. He is teleporting north. That's what's going on. Yep, that's right. He is he is following my lead, going straight for my north expansion rather than the south expansion, which is actually a bad idea. The south expansion is is okay. It was well protected, but the south expansion is also that one's also developed. I mean, the north expansion hasn't got much for it right now. And now the north expansion has. I mean, the north expansion has a foundation as well. I can just heal up. So I'm not losing anything by getting hit in the north expansion. The south expansion is where I was concerned, and right now I don't have anything to be concerned about apparently. And you don't... I don't want you to build a Teth Turcher, I think... A, or Teth Pulsar, I mean, a Teth Turcher will do well, but a Teth Pulsar will just fail me. Will d be a disappointment. Actually, no, you here. So, now Shin Turcher... Oh, come on, seriously? Oh, wait, no, you're a new Zion here. You're not an old one. I just died. And I want you to go over here and build me more RPs. And there's my Teth Turcher... Actually, wait. Okay, Shin Church is down. Ted Church should go over here. Eh, whoa. Hold on a sec. Ah, I see what happens. So we have a Shin Churcher here. That's bad. That's really bad. Get out of there. Get ye out of there. Get ye in here. Take out that expansion. That's nice. I like to see that. And let's see. What else can I afford? Get another Shin Churcher up. I know he's got a Teth Turcher, but, you know, here we go, Teth Turcher. So, my Teth Turcher's in here dealing some damage, which is not where you should be, actually. You should be, you patrol around a bit, I want to know where people are. These RPs will be used to build up, and this Shinveer will be used to build a foundation here, so I actually have more foundation presence. Where'd my Zainveer go? I don't think my Zainveer got built. No, no, my Zainveer's right here. He's alive. He, oh, he's no longer going to be alive. He's very quickly going to stop being alive. Save him, Shin Torture! Save my Zion Vi Oh, no, you're too late. No, you you really are too late. I'm... Well, Valiant Effort. You don't die. Don't go into harm's way. Actually, go up here. If you do that, I think that'll work. Yeah, that should work. The Zion Torture is not going up enough. So my foundation is being built at the 10 minute mark. And here's his Shin Torture and my Teth... Where's my Teth Torture? Oh yeah, that's why I told you don't attack this. That go back a bit. You you go back. You defend here, and you'll set the patrol. Up. Oh wait, I just undid that. You get rid of that Shin Torture. That should not be hard. It's your job. Get rid of air units, namely that bomber, which is annoying me. And now my Zion Gear can go past without being harassed at all. You now build more RPs, and you're going to build that foundation when you get the chance. And now my Shin Torture has nearly died once again. Probably get gate tech pretty soon. I say that a lot. Anyhow, Shin Churcher, go down here and go up. And I'm gonna just hold on to this thought and grab gate tech in the uh, grab gate tech in the future that I'm actually more certain about economically. Oh, apparently I can't. Well it's a good thing I checked. Anyhow, once we get the money for it. Oh. Why are you guys over here? Wait, why is this dead? That's not good. I Oh, there is a Shin Turcher there. Oh wait, that that unhappened. Never mind. Or it it unhappened, didn't it? My my Teth my my Teth Turcher. My Teth Turcher. Okay, my Teth Turcher. Everyone, it does well. Okay, so at this point, I don't know what Nangle's up to. Seems to be going for the standard Shin Turcher Teth Turcher strategy. Heavy air. Usually a good idea, but really I'm not totally certain. But I am going to go for this middle exp- Oh, wait. There was healing going on there. I think I know what he's up to. I think I know exactly what he's up to. No, Ted Turcher! Go over here! Save my Shin Turcher while it's distracting the te his Ted Turcher! We are in a bad spot! Ah, not in a terrible sp No, we're in a terrible spot, actually. His- Yeah, I'm going to have to retreat from this battle. Go over here. I'm... I suspect that something's going on there. No, 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 no. You... 
you run. Run. Or fly slowly away. Hover slowly away. Anyway, you don't die. The Shinterter, well, he died valiantly. As I suspected, he is in the center of the map. Oh, that's a good job. It's a good plan. Take the center of the map and actually, oh, I don't have a test pulsar. Ah, test pulsar time. I mean, much more useful. Actually, I should get Halcyon class. I know I say I should get a lot of things, but Halcyon class is a lot cheaper than Gate Tech, so it's actually viable at this point. Oh yeah, my, sh my Zion Beer's red. Go Zion Beer, take it. Oh wait, you're you're gonna die. Run away. Don't come here at all, Zion Beer. You just go back north. I don't know why you came down here in the first place. And his Zion Beer will not be doing much to my Tez Turcher. And here comes my second Shin Turcher. I'm actually getting. I'm actually starting to suspect that it may be a bad idea to do this. And you teleport over here. No, no, no. Uh, anyway, so that Teth Turcher didn't do much, but the Shin Turcher is doing a fair amount. Actually, the Shin Turcher is doing stupid amount. It, it's not doing anything. Kill the Foundation. That's that's your target. Kill the Foundation, and that will save a lot of time and hassle since buildings will actually die. You know, be a good idea to get Zion Pulsers. Those things are handy. I haven't built one of those yet. Teth Pulsers are also useful, especially right now where I'm being attacked heavily by air. A Teth Pulsar would be most welcome. And Nagel is, by the way, synchronized with me right now. I'm going to actually jump towards the future a bit, 60 minute mark, and grab me some... Wait. I have Gate Tech. I've, I've had Gate Tech for a while. This is a... This is an unprecedented development. Gate Tech, first time around. No, really, this, this never happens to me. Usually I don't get Gate Tech until the third or fourth try. Teth Pulsar dead. Okay, you go back. You you jump back. You guys... Hmm. I'll think for a second. I'll just stop and think. No, actually, I'll fast forward and think. That seems like a lot more productive. I'll get more current energy that way. Okay, so sip, Slipgate needs to finish. Once that's done, then... Hmm. I don't think I can actually chronoport anything back. I don't have enough QP to chronoport much. I could teleport a few things in, and then wait for myself to get enough Q-Plasma to do the Chrono Port game. But at the moment, I don't have enough. Though, if I take these three... Yes, I believe that maybe... Oh, no, it's not enough yet. I need to get one more... Ah, here. So you guys jump back, and then teleport here, and attack towards there. And I, I, know I realize I'm giving it away, but I do want to be absolutely sure that... I'm not going to lose this. Actually, I don't, I don't need to do that. I don't need to preserve the paradox. In fact, that was kind of a mistake. Anyhow, you guys go over to his main base, closer to the present, and I will buy myself more Teth Pulse. Actually, I'm going to buy myself housing class. Since that's very useful, especially since I'm getting to the point where I'm going to need to start corner pointing things back and worrying about unit chunkiness, which, in case you don't know, is the concept where I lose my base in the north. No, actually, it's the concept where units that are fairly large don't require a lot of chrono energy to use, are a lot more useful because of it. And I'm not sure if Nagel has... Okay, that's my chrono departure. I'm guessing Nagel has gate tech. I don't see any signs of it. Hmm. Huh. This is actually totally useless to keep this here. In fact, you could probably get away with going over here. And QP is pretty much almost done. So I'll keep one of you guys back here. And, nope, never mind. You, you're done too. Teleport! There we go. That's what I want. Blue on the timeline. Blue everywhere. Damage towards him, not me. I don't have a lot of resources left. Oh, this expansion went away a long time ago. That's bad. So we're getting down to the wire, folks. This is getting to the point where I... Hey, I have... I can build expansions here. You build me some RPs. Like I said, the middle of the map is very risky. It's hard to hold. I'm probably going to get attacked very soon. In fact, I think Nagel is going for Gate Tech right now. I'm just jump forward about three minutes, 1926 mark. And he has attacked me with Zion Halcyons. That's... That's bad. That's really bad. Although, I do have Halcyons to attack myself. Which means I could, myself, get Zion Halcyons. I don't have to worry about running out of money. Uh, wait. Do I have to worry about running out of money? I don't think so. No, it looks like I actually have this area. Pretty secure. Depends if he goes for Gate Tech, though. That's where it really comes down to. And you go over here. I want to make sure that he's not doing anything too tricky. 
You know, I think I may have him at the wire, but I... But he's he's corner ported back, or he's looking back in the unplayable past. I don't know if he's corner ported. I do not see any corner ported rivals. I do not see any new damage in the timeline. Jumping back to the 1812 mark, where I left off, my expansion's going along nicely, my halcyons are going along nicely, and... Oh, hey, the damage is gone. Alright. Another uppercut. But once you... Once you're ready. There you go. Okay. Make sure that north base is gone. That's one of the nice things about this map is that it is there are a lot of places to go, though. Admittedly, without with the ex current economy thing, it does seem like it's not lasting a whole long time. I mean, it's 20 minutes and most of the map has been mined out. I'm not sure I like that. Oh, eight and at three, we see that he is. He's got a bunch of Zion torture or Zion pulsers, I should say. I should got a bunch of everything. He's been building up, and he's getting tech, too. Holy crap, he is stalked. He has a lot of... Okay. Good to know. I, on the other hand, do not. I did attack him. I did manage to deal some damage further in the past, but I think that, didn't amount, that did not amount to much. In fact, that, that Zion... That Zion Helsing is not going back at all, is he? There's no Chronoport departure there. Yeah, I don't see that Zion Helsing going backwards. This is... I th I don't know, is Nagel going to go for a comeback? Well, obviously he's going to go for a comeback, He's otherwise he'd have GG'd a while ago. But, is he going to succeed in this comeback? I, sur I sure hope not, because that would mean I'd lose. Although, it would be more entertaining. I mean, it'd be tense. If it was a foregone conclusion that I won all the time, it'd be boring. So let's see what how... Wow. Thank you for using specials. I was worried I'd never see that again. And darn it for using specials, because now I've, you've calmed down to everything. Actually, I can't send an order to that, because I don't have... Ah, great. Well, I'll just get into the depot and grab a Teth Churcher from there. Oh, wait. Never mind. Teth Churcher right here. Ah, phew. At least he got the recovery eventually, but still, that was... That was unexpected and tense. You guys chronoport back, and then... Teleport in and attack. You guys hit him in the unplayable pass. That's all I've really got at this point. See, my north base is well stocked, actually. And wow, you've been here this entire time and you haven't died yet. Get back to the depot. Save yourself, man. That's, that's embarrassing. Making you look negligent. I mean, granted, I was negligent, but there's a difference between being negligent and looking negligent. And clearly, I only care about the latter. So, now you're good. You chronicle back as well. You help out that Zion Halcyon. Yeah. And you're good. Just go around and start attacking things. So at this point, Nagel. Nagel has his main base, and I think he has his last stand forces still there, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna double check now that my corner has gone through, and yeah, his last stand forces are still pretty much there. He's lost his arrow. No, he hasn't lost anything. He's actually doing really well. His last stand forces are where they were last time I checked, and I'm losing army. I'm losing any forces that try to go back there and kill it. That's a bad sign. That's my chronoport departure, mind you. That's not his. But I am losing any forces that go back there, which means sending forces back there is risky business. I might be able to pull off another set of units going back there, but after that I think it'll be suicide. Oh, hey, Zion Halcyon, how about that? Hello, Zion Halcyon, you're gonna calm jam me, aren't you? Yeah, you probably are. Yep, there he goes. Thankfully, he calm jammed before I managed to get everything set up, not afterwards. So, at least I have some chance, but this is not looking good. Oh, actually, oh no, no, it's not looking good at all. Do I have a Tertia around here somewhere? Well, I have Shin Hal I have Shin Churchers, anyway. You get back here before anything happens, and my Teth Pulsar is... Where did my Teth Pulsar go? No, really, where did my Teth Pulsar go? This is not looking good. I guess my negligence did not pay off. Rarely does, I'll be honest. Oh, hey, I might actually be able to get out of this. I did manage to get rid of the Zion Halcyon, and I have... Getting rid of that... Okay, the Shinturcher is the only thing left, and the Shinturcher is going to be gone very shortly. The Seth Halcyon is getting his shots in, and here comes the Veer units coming. Zion Veer trying to crawl his way to... No, he's dead. 
That was anticlimactic. And you're stuck. Good thing I have enough money to actually build another aerial control center and get another Teth Churcher going, because otherwise you'd be stuck forever. And you go over here, because you're not comm jammed. But I cannot chronoport. Not for the next little while. I am stuck here. My units are stuck at this time. Aerial control center almost done and done! Okay, Teth Churcher, go over here, heal everything up. <sighs> yes, comm jam is actually useful in case you were wondering. I didn't realize this myself, but apparently it is. It used to be useful, and I'm glad it still is, but apparently uh, people don't realize this. Oh, uh, wait, I. Can I do this? I'm actually curious. Oh, he's retreated. No, I cannot. I cannot heal into the depot if the depot is comm jammed. That was bizarre. Why didn't I tell you guys to go over here? Okay, now we got a weird game of cat and mouse going on here. Which I'm losing. That that was a bad move. That was a really bad move. You guys You guys corner back teleport back home. No, no. There we go. That's what I want. I said home. Sheesh, you guys don't listen. Okay, you do listen, but. Doing what I tell you to do, not what I want. Sheesh, it's like computers. Okay, so he's got his army together, and I don't. This is proving to be a mistake. Where is my Teth... Oh, man, this Teth are just taking forever to build. I do have a lot of money saved up, though, and that means I can build a few units. I should get some tech up, too. I think if I get weapons tech, I might be able to just nuke him out. Nuke him out near the unplayable past, and that'll, that'll be that. Upgrade weaponry. Okay, good. Now this is all healed up. I just need to wait for my chrono energy to recharge, and then we're good. And you, and you, and then we chronoport back to when this attack started. See, like I said, that mental expansion is really hard to hold, but I think if I do this right, I will be able to teleport here, and then attack along here, and should be able to intercept it. So I, sh I think I've intercepted it, but I don't know for sure. However, what I do know for sure is that I have nukes. I've got skip torpedoes. And frankly, not much else. But skip torpedoes! Yay! Things explode. When I tell them to, eventually. Oh, hey, this is on your over here. Being pesky. And I don't appreciate peskiness. I appreciate death. Which is fortunate, because there's been a lot of it today. Let's see, main base is still pretty well protected, and a Teth Halcyon is here. How pleasant! Well, this Shin Church's life is over. But I don't really mind. I am more curious about how this attack is going. And it looks like my forces didn't really do much. They did a bit, but not much. Still, the Teth Church at least managed to get rid of much of the air units, and I will be able to maintain this expansion further into the future. Oh, and there's... Okay, good. There's my Teth Churcher healing up my base. That was at the 25 minute... Okay, 25 minute mark. That was at the 22 minute mark. Sorry, 24 minute mark. Time... Time extends when you're having fun. Feels like you're just doing it and doing it and doing it. You don't really feel it going by, but you just know, hey, I'm doing stuff. However, what's also happening is my north base being attacked and my... Oh boy, that Teth Churcher's almost dead. You get out of there. You heal up. I do not want you to die. And that point in time, that's about when the attack started. Oh, and Nagel GG's! Well, that's... Whew, that was an intense game. Thank you all for watching, and before it ends... Before it ends completely, I do want to just fire a nuke off, because... Get out of there! Get out of there! You See? Like I said, he's gonna die. Like, like this guy did. That, well, got a nuke off anyway. Good game. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Whew. That was, that was intense. So, thank you everyone for watching, and have a good night.